The following program was recorded at ARC Advisory Group's annual World Industry Forum in Orlando, Florida. I'm pleased to welcome ARC Research Director Craig Resnick. My special guest today is Matt Lipinski, Vice President of Sales and Marketing from Mitsubishi Electric. How are you doing today, Matt? I'm doing great. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to question, I'm going to start a little bit on the, give you a little economic question. And what do you attribute to Mitsubishi's success? Uh, I know you've had some success during this latest recession, um, maybe, maybe going counter against counter trending. Uh, so what, what can you explain some of the success that you've had uh, during the recession and as we've emerged from the recession? We took advantage of the economic downturn and tried to reorganize our sales and marketing uh, efforts to focus on reaching our strategic objectives. And our objective is to deliver the lowest total cost of ownership through know-how and uptime. And know-how and uptime are symbolic terms, know-how, you know, application knowledge, the quality of our products, uh, uptime uh, also being symbolic in terms of not just the quality and reliability of our products, but speed of business, uh, short lead times, uh, quick response on technical issues to maximize the value that we provide to our customers. Okay, great. Um, now that we're in this recovery mode, do you see some, what do you see different in the industrial marketplace? I and mean, what, what do you see that's, that's changed now versus, say, before we went into the recession? So how, how, how is the climate different today? Well, I think customers are really looking for, for total value. Mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to maximize their resource utilization to improve their, their bottom line uh, profitability. So they're expecting their suppliers to, to help them with those challenges that they see in the marketplace today so that they can be competitive and that they can differentiate themselves uh, you know, in, in the global economy that we're experiencing. Okay. Where do you see the greatest areas of growth in the Americas for uh, Mitsubishi Electric Automation? We really see two uh, great opportunities. It's really an exciting time for us at Mitsubishi Electric. We're looking at opportunities you know, both from an industry standpoint, looking at emerging market opportunities such as solar and photovoltaic, as well as uh, the battery technology that's going into electric vehicles, hybrid vehicles. Uh, we're also looking at expansion from a geographic standpoint, and we're expanding our focus uh, throughout Latin America, especially Mexico, uh, Colombia, Brazil, and uh, the rest of South America. Okay, so actually Mitsubishi Electric Automation, they, from, from an America perspective, is all of the Americas, not just yes. North America. Yes, that's correct. It's all of the Americas. Uh, we're responsible for North America, Central America, and South America. Now certainly uh, you guys have been a major player in discrete automation for, for many years. And I know you're coming up with some initiatives in process automation now, uh, certainly in the Americas. Um, like, why now? Like, all of a, you know, like, uh, is it, uh, elaborate further on, like, what were some of the driving forces that have led you to coming out with some uh, process automation solutions? Well, Mitsubishi Electric has uh, about 20 years of experience in the process automation market, primarily in the Asian marketplace in Japan. But what we're looking at here in the Americas is to expand our total solutions for our customers. You know, as an example, you know, we're looking at uh, our focus on the food and beverage industry and being able to work with the, the front end batch processing all the way to the back end packaging so that we can provide a total solution for our customers. Okay. Now, um, we, talking about your, you know, obviously providing a total solution for customers, I think a lot of people might be interested in what is your complete portfolio and how do you incorporate this best-in-class philosophy in your go-to-market strategy? And I know you, I believe you call your go-to-market strategy MELPAC, which would be but Mitsubishi Electric Process Automation Controller Process Automation Strategy. So I mean, it's a, a mouthful word-wise, but uh, <laughs> if you could go into some of the, describe your complete portfolio and talk about this MELPAC to PA strategy, I think that'd be great. What we're, what we're looking to do is to provide a total solution, not just the control side, mm -hmm. but also incorporating the front-end SCADA and data acquisition and visualization software, as well as partnering with uh, best-in-class providers of instrumentation, and we're tying that all together with our eFactory solution so that we can provide a totally integrated uh, data collection and communication up to the IT world. 
Now, for someone that doesn't know about eFactory, what is, what is about, you know, tell me a little bit about eFactory. eFactory is really our connectivity solution to take data from the, the factory floor and bring that up to the IT world. So our, our solution provides the hardware connectivity and we're working with best-in-class providers for the, the software solutions as well as the integration services to provide that total solution for the customers. Okay, great. And I guess uh, as we begin to, begin to wrap things up here, if you could summarize why Mitsubishi Electric would be a, an excellent choice for companies to partner with, uh, you know, what would you say to them? I mean, as you're going through your, obviously as part of eFactory, you're trying to you know, procure additional partners, uh, strategic partners. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you say to them as far as, what is the value proposition that you bring as far as uh, adding partners to your eFactory program? Well, as you, as you mentioned at the beginning, I mean, Mitsubishi's been known for our discrete uh, solutions, quality and reliability, and what we've, we have now is with our IQ platform, we have a, a common backbone, a common platform for our solutions. We're tying that all together with the eFactory. Uh, we're working with uh, energy management solutions, energy monitoring solutions, so that we can really help to maximize the overall productivity and efficiency of our, of our customers' facilities. Okay. And a final question is, I also realize you have a very uh, major HMI product, the GOT series. Is there anything you could, uh, how does the GOT series relate to, you know, as part of your overall strategy with, with Melpac and uh, eFactory? Well, the GOT is an important part of our total solution offering uh, to provide the, the local visualization and uh, control for our, our solutions. Mm -hmm. And then as, as we get into uh, larger applications, we're looking at you know, expanding that you know, by the use of, of our collaboration with Iconics and providing their SCADA and visualization software tools. Okay, so you will, you will be providing then a full line of HMI software in conjunction with certainly a full line of HMI hardware. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you, Craig. Pleasure to have you today. And again, this is uh, Craig Resnick, a Research Director, ARC Advisory Group uh, from the ARC Orlando 2011 Forum. Thank you very much.